Hello again. In this video, we will try to apply a sample from a picture and do it in Microsoft Word. For example, I have this uh, exercise or sample. I have it as a picture, and I need to. I will try to apply it in Microsoft Word. So first step, I will open Word document. As usual, we will save the, our document. I will name the file exercise one. Now I will start with the picture. First, I see that I have a title center uh, uh, with the size 18 and reflection effect. Also apply text effect and border. So let's start uh, first align center. I will type word exercise. I will apply size 18. I will add text effect. I will add reflection effect. Also, I will add border. For border, I need to go to border and shadings. Choose box. Choose the style. Choose the color. And choose the width. Here, I have two options. Apply to paragraph and apply to text. Let's first try apply to paragraph. If applied to paragraph, you will notice that the border are from margin to margin. But in the picture, the border is around the statement only. So I will undo the border and go again into border and shading. Choose box, choose the style, choose the color, choose the width, and I will check choose apply to text. After the title, I will start with the paragraph. Here, if I continue typing, I will notice that the same style is still typing, but uh, I need to reset this style. So I can simply click here on clear all formatting. Now if I type, I will type normal text. I, uh, so now I need to type the C paragraph or I can generate random paragraph. I will generate random C paragraph with four statement in each paragraph. Now let's start with the first paragraph. For the first paragraph, I have Times New Roman. Uh, font size, font, fa font uh, family or font face. Uh, I have size 12, align justify, and double line spacing. So, first step, I will have to choose Times in New Roman. Here it is a autocomplete, or I can from drop down search for Times in New Roman. Uh, size 12, I need justify, double line spacing, so 2.0. Now I will start with the effect inside the paragraph. Let's first apply the border. I have the border. Uh, if I zoom in, you will see that for the border is the same style for the boss uh, for the four side, top, bottom, left, and right, and double waved red. So I will go to here from border and shading, apply to paragraph box because from four sides the same style i will search for the style i will choose the color and i will click apply now i have from video till powerful way uh, for bold then from you prove to your point italic bold and italic so first from video to way are bold Prove then from you prove your point. I have it bold and italic. Also, I can notice that from video till add, I have highlighting. From video till add, I have highlighting. Now, from uh, you can paste embedded code, uh, we have single underline. Then you can also type a keyword double underline. For the video that best fit your document, double underline red. So let's start. Let's apply them. I will open uh, the both the word and the picture together. So now you can embed the code bold and from you single underline.
also type a keyword it is double underline and bold for the video that best fit your documents bold double underline and red color for underline now we have your document look is changed your document look we need to change the font color to red here I have four footer header footer cover and text box applied bold black highlight and white color so for header footer cover and text box first I will apply the bold I will change the font color to white then will apply the text highlight black so now I applied all the style required for the first document for the first paragraph for the second paragraph I see here I need Calibri as font size 12 justify double line spacing and first uh, special first line indent also I will apply these for the second paragraph so for the second paragraph I have Calibri already chosen increase size to 12 align justify double line spacing I will I need to increase the uh, apply first special first line indent so from here paragraph option from the uh, special I choose first line and click OK and will be applied so in this method I applied the size the font the size the alignment the spacing and the special first line intent now I can see that I have a custom border for different border from the four sides also I have a shading so let's apply shading and border from here I will apply the shading for the border I here I can apply custom border I can apply the same styles for example uh, red waved uh, blue and white dashed from bottom so let's start to, uh, to apply them I will choose this style red apply to top I choose for example uh, waved with uh, any color I will, no, will not stick to the same color in the picture just I will put four different uh, styles in each side and for the bottom line I will put this style and this color and I will click on OK and the choose the letter and choose are expanded an element are condensed from is raised galleries is lowered let's apply this for style so for choose bold and from font option advanced expanded I will choose expanded by three point for elements also bold and from options I will choose condensed and 1.5 for now for uh, from and galleries raised and lowered from bold from here position I choose raised and galleries bold and here from advanced position lowered now I have styles raised and condensed and expanded help lowered and expanded so styles is first step expanded by three point and at the same time raised also help is expanded by three point and lowered now I have seam and smart art condensed one raised and the other is lowered so 
seam, seam is condensed 1.5 and lowered and uh, raised. Smart art is also condensed 1.5 but lowered. In this, I, I finished the second paragraph. For the third paragraph, I have the font Lucida handwriting, size 10, a line center, and 1.5 line spacing. So, from here, I mark the paragraph, I choose Lucida handwriting, size 10, a line center, and from here, 1.5 line spacing. Also, I can see that I have no border to the left, border to the right, and same border to top and bottom. So, I will choose border and shadings, custom border, same style to border at the top. And bottom, and only style with other color to the right, and I will apply it. Also, you can notice that I have a picture fits in your document, has a border. Picture fit in your document has a border. So from here, I will go to border and shading, box border. I have it two lines. Apply here. I will make sure apply to text and click OK. And yeah, the border will be applied. Now I finished the C paragraph. I need to do to start with the list. To start with the list, I have CSI 200, Word, under Word I have font paragraph, then Excel, under Excel I have formula and chart, and be below Excel I have PowerPoint. So, let's start. I will start with bullet. I will type first the entire uh, list, and then I will change the styles. I Word, under Word I have font and paragraph font paragraph I need now to go back to go back I use decrease indent I will put Excel under Excel I will go to sub list I will add uh, formulas formula and the charts uh, below Excel I need to go back to add power point now to change the style, here I, I will apply this style to CSI 200 bullet. First step, CSI must be bold. To this bullet, I will change the style. I will choose this one. It must be red, so I will color it as red. Now, for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, I have uh, one to three uh, bold, underlined, and italic. So I will click here, I will choose one to three, I will make it bold, italic, single underline. Now uh, for form, paragraph, formula and chart, I have it as bullet. So I will click here, I will choose from bullet the bullet style I need, and I will change the color. Like this, I finished my work, I applied this picture, and convert it to this Word document. And final step, when I finish, I will click on Save Again and close my files. Thank you.